good evening students welcome to the computer class students this is chapter number 6 formatting worksheet in ms excel so formatting is very important feature in ms excel you can make your worksheet more presentable by applying one or several of excel's formatting features this chapter shows you how to improve the appearance of your worksheet data after changing the font and size of data adding color and shading and giving your worksheet a more professional and polished look so this is how like uh, uh, this is your worksheet okay uh, now first of all i want to change the font of like uh, font uh, size of the data the mark list of class 6 okay so i'll just select this first of all select this okay and go to size click on size and you see you can see the changes over here okay whatever size you want just click on it okay so i have just changed the size of the font likewise you can change the size of these data also like um, okay i'll do it on 14 it will look good nice okay now i want to change the font style also so this mark list i want just first of all select this mark list okay go to the font style this is the font uh, font face font style just click on it and you can choose according to your choice like uh, i'm choosing algerian here okay so this is how you can see the changes okay now for this these names and these marks i'll choose something else like 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 i can choose uh, like i'm choosing um this or this well empty okay so can you see the changes here this is looking something different now so the, here i have changed the font style here also i have changed the font style and we have changed font size also now it's time to do bold italic and underline now if you see it here bold italic underline now i want this these name english hindi maths sst science in bold letters so what i will do is i'll just select it and click on bold see have you seen the difference okay now these name i have selected these names and click on italic so can you see the changes over here ye yeah. okay so okay now our next step is we'll do like um, how to change the alignment now what is the alignment can you see these this is left alignment center alignment and right alignment okay now i want like uh, suppose you can see here the english is written in uh, with left alignment whereas the numbers are written at right alignment okay now i want these in in, in a perfect order so what uh, i can do is i'll just select the whole english hindi in fact uh, all this these subjects english hindi math science and what i will do is i'll just click uh, i will just click on center alignment now can you see the changes now it is looking nice and perfect okay so this is how you can change or or suppose you can do right also or the uh, left or the right this is left and this is right but center is looking i think more cool so we'll go for the center alignment okay so this is how you can change uh your alignments no 
our next topic is centering the uh, data across columns you can center data across several columns in your worksheet this is useful for centering titles over your data you can use the merge and center command to quickly create a merge cell to hold the title text now see how we can do it first of all suppose this uh, worksheet is starting from uh, column a and to column h so the, this is the first column and this is the last column so i want this mark list of class 6 in in the center of this page like right? in the center of this page so what i will do is i will just select the uh, this particular uh, title because this is the title of our uh, worksheet so i will just select this title and then after selecting just go and click here can you see this merge and center just click on merge and center first of all just select the whole area from a to h and then go to merge and center now can you see the changes so from here to here only there is only one column and that to centered so this is how we can merge and center all the cells okay our uh, next is changing the color of the cell now we can change the colors of the uh, any cell any particular cell or uh, a range of cell Not like first of all what you have to do is uh, just select those particular um, cells to whom you want to change okay then after selecting go to this area fill color i'll just show you in zoom just go to this area this is zoom color you can select any color from here like suppose uh, i'm going to select yellow only okay uh, this yellow color okay so this is how you can select the like color of any cell any particular cell and likewise if you want to color these cells you, you want to give some other color to it it just select the in the whole area and then yes like this okay so this is how you can uh, color you can give color to your uh, worksheet okay now uh, and as well as you can uh, give color to the um uh, font also like this just click click on the font like suppose i i don't want black color here so i have just selected this english in, um, name english and maths and uh, okay uh, now from here you can just select any color like i'm selecting red red is looking good okay so this is how you can modify your uh, worksheet and give a good look to it now next is adding border now for adding border you can add border to your worksheet cells like uh, so that it can like it will separate the data from surrounding cells like first of all what you have to do is select all the worksheet where you have worked upon now from name to percentage okay give a selection okay so just select the area whole area and go to this border can you see this hmm borders now i am going to select uh, if i select a uh, single border outside border it will look like this but i want to separate each cell from one another so what i will do it i will just select the whole area and then go to all border now can you see the difference all border 